Doc Rich back at it again, and we not getting surgical right now. We got 11 scary videos I bet you can't handle like a boss. That's what we're going to be checking out today. But listen, if y'all want to DM me anything else, links to my social media accounts will be in the description box below. Let's go. A boss is someone who is able to handle their emotions under any situation. Can you watch these scary videos like a boss? Let's find out. Number 11. The Adventures of Hamad Salhai has the keys to an apartment that is slowly being taken over by a powerful jinn. Once inside, he begins a ceremony with candles. I don't know if this is a summoning or a cleansing ritual, but I do know that what happens as a result is beyond creepy. First of all, the flame from the candle remains completely horizontal and still. <laughs> then his flashlight flickers with paranormal energy and the ceremony kicks into full swing. A door closes by itself, and when he opens the door back up, the ghost avoids a confrontation again. He relights the candle and goes inside the room to see what the ghost is trying to hide. These pictures adorn the walls, perhaps victims of the person whose ghost now haunts this apartment building. Or maybe just family members. He is pondering something out loud that I bet would give us more information about this room, so please translate if you can. A shadow figure in the corner makes him drop his only source of light, and now he is left in the darkness in the same room as the terrifying phantom figure. He runs out of the room fast and grabs a flashlight, no longer worried about using the ceremonial candles at the moment, but it won't let him leave so he picks up the candles once more. Bro, okay, 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 I gotta stop it, I gotta stop it. Your only source of light, you drop it. Like, you, you, you're you not holding on to that candle for dear life? Second thing. Let's, let, let's say that actually happened. Let's say he actually did see an apparition there. A ghost. A figure. Why in the fuck would you go back? The thing just slammed the door on you. Tried to creep up on you. I'm getting the hell up out of there. Like, forget this video. Like, if 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 it's about the views and the clicks, I've got all the view. I I've got all the clicks I need with the damn thing showing up in the video. Like, I'm out of here. Y'all let me know in the comment section if I'm just crazy. But like, I'm gone. I'm if I legit just saw a figure with my own two eyes. I'm out of there. Especially if I just dropped my candle. Nah. Matter of fact, I'm probably leaving the burning candles. Hold on. Actually, he has burning candles on the ground. That just occurred to me. Makes him drop his only source of light, and now he is left in the darkness in the same room as the terrifying phantom figure. He runs out of the room fast and grabs a flashlight, no longer worried about using the ceremonial candles at Bro, and how are those candles just like standing straight the fuck up without falling over? He just ran through there. Like just the vibration of the floor wouldn't make them fall over? I don't know. I don't believe At the though. moment, but it won't let him leave, so he picks up the candles once more. It looks like No longer worried about using the ceremonial candles at the moment, but it won't let him leave. Oh, I thought this was... I thought... It was like a puddle that was leaking out underneath the door because all I saw was like something black right here really quickly. So I thought it was like something that was like leaking out from underneath the door. I was like, hold on. Uh oh. 
So he picks up the candles once more. This is what finally freaks him out. I think a ghost touches his shoulder, but help me translate to better understand. Number 10. Bro, he gonna burn that whole damn building down leaving those candles there. But also, again, he drops the candle. I don't believe it. There's there's no fucking way you're dropping that damn thing twice. One time, alright, cool. You got startled. You weren't holding it quite tight enough. Alright, whatever. But a second time, knowing that's your only source of light? Nah, not buying it. Not buying it. Exploring with Fluffy has a paranormal moment caught on camera at the abandoned Fairfields Haunted Asylum in Newton, Connecticut. Watch the far door and you'll see it, but probably not on the first try. You can probably see it better now, a white apparition in the window that quickly vanishes. Whether this is a ghost sighting or a trick of the light is anyone's guess, so be sure to give me yours. Number 9. This dog's owner says it can see a ghost in the same hallway that they are in. It's okay. Her dog is definitely looking at something it doesn't want to go near at all. It keeps a wide distance and absolutely refuses to go past this line. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Listen, when your full-grown dog is barking nervously and actually backing towards the door to get away, it's time to get the heck out of that room yourself. But I well, what is this thing? Is It, it kind of looks like it's looking at this. Because this looks like a corner. And it might be able to see the side of this thing around that corner. That's, that's kind of what that looks like to me. At 36 seconds, the dog does kind of look over to a framed picture on the wall. Maybe it saw its own reflection in the surface and started freaking out. But that's just my guess. Number 8. The hell just happened to the video there at the end? The dog does kind of look over to a framed picture on the wall. Maybe it saw its own reflection in the surface and started freaking out. But that's just my guess. Number 8. Bro, what the fuck? Did y'all see that? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, let me. When I'm done with this, I'm going to have to go back and look at that shit. What the? F the surface and started freaking out, but that's just my guess. Number eight. Maybe that was just. I'm gonna have to see if y'all could actually see what just happened, cause that 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 was weird. That was weird as fuck. I, I I don't like no no BS, but like that that was weird as hell. Shit, I had to fucking rub my eyes and make sure I wasn't tweaking or something. I'm like what the? Yeah. An unexplained video caught on doorbell cam reveals a mysterious stranger that many think could be a ghost. The strange figure disappears off camera at 3 minutes and 56 seconds, and when he comes back 2 seconds later, there is a bizarre image trailing behind him that I don't think was there before. A lot of people are saying this is a ghost video, because RVA Flip sells a lot of stuff on eBay, and has come across his fair share of weird stuff that could be haunted. So maybe one of his possessions had a ghost attached. This is what he looks like, and a closer look at what the ghost looks like. It looks good at first, but I find it strange how both he and the ghost he saw seem to look similar and are about the same size. I'm wondering if this is a real ghost video like he says, or if he made a fake ghost video using himself as the subject. Look at the two figures and tell me what you see. Is this a- That's definitely fake because you can see whoever this is, is is stepping over something right here. Ghosts don't step over shit. They just walk through it. 
They're stepping over something right here. The ghost sighting, or is there no possible way? Number seven. A YouTube channel called Projects Paranormal makes a startling discovery, which in their mind confirms the presence of a shadow figure haunting their house. What the fuck? The mysterious shadow figure could just be someone walking behind the camera, but it's weird how the shadow doesn't really change shape in the doorway. It should get smaller or disappear in the doorway because of the added depth, but like I said, it doesn't seem to change much at all. Number six. Or they could have just had someone walk through there and kind of edited, the, edited, edited them out slightly, but left just enough to where you can see, because it looks like an actual person. Sandra of Two Dimensional Paranormal goes exploring an Irish graveyard. Some people in the comments are saying she's caught a ghost on tape, so let's take a closer look. The first encounter happens at 9 minutes and 25 seconds. Keep checking just in case it's something like that. Are you smoking? Yeah, because it's just going past the camera. Got my hands up, dropping off. The paranormal mist returns about five minutes later at 14 minutes and seven seconds. I looked at that and I was just about to go there and like turned round. And that's. What the fuck? <sighs> that, that. Honestly, I'm getting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Turned round. Did y'all see that right there? Hold on. Let me mute this real quick. We're gonna put this thing in slow motion. Right there. There's a person there. That could have easily blown that smoke. Here's the head. There's the hood. Jacket. Face. Right here. I thought I had saw a person. And here's here's the hood. Look like It looks like they're wearing a hoodie with like a jacket. Over the top of it. So I was like, hold on, I thought I just saw something right there. And of course I did. I have a damn eyelash in my eye, rubbing my eyes. I put an eyelash in my eye. Uh. I hate that. And drowned, and that's... <sighs> Honestly, I'm getting freaked. <gasps> What's that? It's not her breath because it comes from the darkness behind her. Not to mention this only happens two times in the 38 minute video. Considering they're exploring a graveyard for spirits, I think this video could very well be real. Number 5. Nope. Fake. A paranormal photo from Gary, Indiana seems to have caught something strange on camera. The silhouette of a ghostly figure that seems intent on burning down the house that it's been caught in for years. Even the comments seem ominous with one person simply writing, I live right next to Gary, Indiana, and this isn't the first time something paranormal happened in that town. Almost like they're talking from experience. When somebody wants to know more stories, they never get a response. Almost like the person has already said too much stuff that outsiders were not supposed to hear. Number 4. This video's creepy and I'll get to the scary part. I think that one was just a weird coincidence. Part. But first, I want to know what language is being spoken and what they are saying here. Wait, who is it? Wait, who is Wait, wait. Who is it? Who is it? I'm guessing he's asking who's there. Unfortunately for him, this strange sighting is his answer. Who is it? Who is it? A person comes walking out backwards in a painfully high arch that even a gymnast would struggle to achieve. It's like a scene out of one of the exorcism movies, but is it real? It almost seems too weird to be real, but how many people do you know who can move like that? Then again, they are at a gym, so maybe they are in good shape and one of his more athletic friends was able to fake this back-breaking pose. Number 3 That's weird, but... I swear I've seen people do that before, so. Yeah. 
I don't buy Two it. friends use or, face swab for a laugh. I don't think it was anything crazy. But it turns into a scare instead that leaves one of them speechless. <laughs> <laughs> This video is really creepy because there's absolutely nothing but total darkness behind him. Certainly nothing for the app to have mistaken for a face. The face behind him doesn't look anything like his own. It's a pale apparition with no eyes and no smile. Freaky, right? Number 2. A moving <laughs> shadow caught on video in the window has a mother beyond creeped out. Moving. You see it? You see it moving at the bottom? No. Uh, wait. Okay, now. You That's see it? A tree. Every time they look, nothing is there. It's, the tree is not even moving at all. Because it's not moving, no wind, nothing is blowing. Do you guys see anything blowing? I don't see it now. Oh, it's back again, no! But it seems like the farther they step away, the more prominent the shadow becomes. Oh my god, it was a big one this time. This is not the only time DN Vlogs Live TV has had a weird paranormal encounter. Three years prior, something else weird was in her attic playing mind games. Can you hear it? It stops and then, right when she's about to open the attic entrance, <sighs> should I? <laughs> raccoon, raccoon. The other one was a tree off in the distance. Um, that was at just the right angle to where you know it was blocking part of the sun. Nothing major, nothing major. Raccoon or possum, squirrel possibly got into the attic and is uh, making a home. Something taps from the other side. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number one. Twins and paranormal investigators Kim and Roxy from a channel called Twin Travel 03 Go Ghost Hunting at the Stanley Hotel in Napanoke, New York. Their ghost hunting app seems to constantly activate when held over one of the creepy dolls. The other two dolls, although creepy, don't seem to set it off at all. Nothing. Nothing. This little lady. Kim and Roxy also get a strange paranormal readout in a closet that even one of the employees finds strange enough to comment on. An old time phone. There is no phone, but we still hear it ring. And you're getting a K2 pit, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I just did. Huh. And when they tell the ghost to take a step back, it seems to obey their commands. Back away so it goes down to single, single green. Thank you. But the creepiness is only just beginning. Can you move the ball, please? Oh my god, I have chills. Ain't no fucking. Can you move the ball, please? It's moving, thank you. If you are not a believer of the paranormal, then. T nah. It, it looks like it's sitting on some boards there and it looks like it kind of looks like the boards are uneven because it looks like they come up to like a peak right there you see that it looks like they come up to a peak like the floor is 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 all messed up so someone could have easily stepped on the board back you know off the camera to the left and could have made the ball move i thought now if that ball like just all of a sudden just started rolling just out of fucking nowhere like it just rolled that way, ah, oh, then, then you would have had me convinced. But just like a little, a little sway, nah, could have easily stepped on the board. Tell me how this can happen with a kid's toy that is filled with nothing more than air. Again, please. Oh my. God. 
Yeah, it looked like the board just moved underneath it. Look at look at the board really, really closely. Check out the board. That is filled with nothing more than air. Again, please. See the board? I don't know. Maybe I'm tweaking. Maybe I'm tweaking. But if you look at it really, really closely right there, the board slightly moves. Oh, my God. You. But I don't know. I'm a skeptic. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 a skeptic. I I mean I I'm looking for a good scare, but I, I'm I'm also just not going to believe or go with just any old thing. You know what I mean? But y'all let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. If y'all enjoyed the video, as always, baby, leave a like before you go. Smack the subscribe button that's right over there, as you guys already know. And of course, family, check out the video that's right over there too. You might like it. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Doc Rich, I'm out.